One abstraction is that of a collection. Uh, the um, uh, notion of grouping things. So uh, collections can be large, like uh, the um, all the students in a university, uh, small, like the courses uh, that um, um, student is enrolled, and uh, can be also empty, like uh, the um, uh, the paintings of Picasso that someone owns. And um, when uh, uh, there are these uh, uh, collections, um, there is a wish to do um, something with them from time to time, like uh, adding items to it or uh, removing them, cutting them down. Uh, if they, for example, are duplicates or they are not any, they should not be anymore in that collection. And um, uh, they um, Um, another thing that can be done is to rearrange um, the items in the collection like by uh, the value, by the name um, and these are common operations uh, that is uh, um, described as operations uh, of a collection. So in uh, programming, uh, the, um, the collection is uh, represented as a class and uh, the operations are methods of that class. Then uh, a, prop, uh, a particular um, a particular collection uh, like the um, uh, collection of uh, of music tracks. Uh, can uh, no yeah I could look for example yeah um, a particular collection uh, is an instance of that class and um, the items. Uh, that are in that class are uh, also themselves uh, objects. Uh, other examples that can be made uh, about the collection uh, is um, um, a library that uh, keeps record of books and uh, journals that uh, it owns. Um, so um, new books will be uh, added uh, when they um, when they um, uh, are put in the library. And uh, when they are removed from the library, then these old books will be uh, removed from the collection of books.
um, then a university keeps a record of um, students uh, so uh, when new students uh, enroll in a university uh, they are added into uh, the collection and uh, when they leave uh, they are removed from the collection and it um, in in, the, uh, in this collection there are also um, um, like um, there are subsets in this collection uh, for example uh, all the students that um, are in the first year uh, then another example I don't remember the other example. Okay, then um, these collections uh, can be these collections uh, can be. Um, implemented um, with uh, what uh, was seen so far uh, in Java uh, but um, to make um, it possible to uh, group an arbitrary um, an arbitrary number of items um, there is not um, a solution that uh, will make it able to uh, make a class that that will do this. Um, it, it may be possible to uh, create a fixed size um, collection by um, um, creating a class that has uh, several fields uh, that will contain uh, each of the items um, but then uh, this is not a proper solution uh, and a more general solution uh, a proper solution should be one where um, it, it is not required to know in advance uh, how uh, many items uh, will be stored uh, and uh, it is not required to fix an upper limit of how many um, items will be stored. Uh, for arbitrary items, uh, for a um, number of arbitrary items, exploring the uh, library, um, there is, uh, it can be found, a um, um, library class that um, uh, represents a uh, collection uh, which um, which instances are unsorted but ordered 
fixed size um, lists and that class is uh, array list and in the next few sections at, um, uh, this class array list um, which is the uh, simplest way of grouping objects um, is used uh, with an example of uh, uh, a music collection uh, to um, try to use these operations to add, delete and rearrange um, the items in the music collection. Uh, so it is typical uh, that um, uh, the number of items that are in a collection change from time to time. Some are added, some are removed, uh, and so they change.